Syracuse seems to be able to stave off rallies and comebacks better than teams of the past without Russ on the floor. If you agree with that, why does that happen? What, what's allowing that to happen? Yeah, I don't know if it's if it's necessarily um, something these guys have. I mean, they they were very calm. They knew what we had to do. Um, there were some things that happened in the third quarter. Um, a lot of their points came off our turnovers. I think they were three for six from the three point line. Um, I thought we the physicality of the third quarter. You know, when the camp came out, it, it probably got the game a little bit choppy. Um, I thought there were some opportunities for us to get to the line. We didn't get there. They made some shots and you know, knocked down some shots. They probably missed a lot in that uh, in that first half. But in the, in the third quarter, they, they they made some shots and got some you know good rolls. And you know we missed a lot of shots in and out. We missed some layups, <coughs> missed some threes, um, and they were able to climb back into it. But our guys kind of kept their composure and kept playing. So. Um, I just give those guys a lot of credit of understanding it's a 48 minute game. Teams are going to make some run, and it's about how you respond. And I thought they responded well. Um, Billy, I, what you did from three point land to what you did at the free <coughs> throw line makes it a lot easier on you guys. And I'm just wondering is, are you shooting more like you think you can shoot? And was the first few games of the season maybe an aberration in your mind? Um, I mean, we made every free throw tonight. I mean, that was. All but one. So we missed, we missed, we missed one. I thought we made We missed one. So I mean, we were, we, we did a really a, a, a great job from the free throw line. And like I've said before, our guys work hard. Um, you know, at that, and I give them credit tonight. You know, when we got fouled, we got to, uh, you know, at least make them pay, so to speak. Um, I think the three point line to me is all predicated on what kind of looks you're getting. And uh, when, when Paul gets going like he did in that first half, the three point percentage the team is going to is going to be up. And, and Dennis obviously, you know, kind of held off some runs by them a little bit earlier. The run really kind of happened at the end of the third. It was happening in the middle of the of the third, and Dennis made two back-to-back -back threes that kind of gave us a little bit of breathing room. But they were coming at that point in time. Um, but you know, as long as we're taking good ones, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, and um, I, I thought tonight for the most part we had good threes. But is, it, is it as simple as saying? Keep the ball, turn the other team over because I mean, you guys have been great at turning the other team over even thinking back to last season. But this season, it seems like I've done a really good job of keeping the ball, in particular with Dennis. I mean, tonight he only has one turnover. Is it, is it too simple to just boil it down to that and just saying they keep the ball and turn the other team over? Well, I mean, there, 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 there's a couple things you know that you got to look at. One is your, because we're a very, very good offensive rebound team, you don't want to give up offensive rebound because you're taking an advantage and a strength of your team and you're, you're neutralizing it by giving up. And we've been a sporadic defensive rebounding team. I think we've been better here of late. We need to get more consistent there. Steven is so dominant offensively on the glass that if we can just do a great job percentage-wise on the team's misses, that's a huge advantage for us. To your point, we turn people over a lot. Well, if we end up turning over a lot, it's kind of a wash. That's just been a strength of our team with the length and the athleticism and the defensive feel for these guys. You know, and then I think the other part is, you know, for us is, you know, we haven't shot the ball break the three-point line. We better defend the three. You know, we got to defend the three really well. We didn't do that in Dallas. I thought we came back. And when I say defend the three, I don't know if you can necessarily prevent teams from shooting threes. But you can make sure they can test it, and you can have an impact on the percentage from the three-point line. And I thought, you know, tonight we did those things. And then, and then the other part, you know, was I thought our help in the paint was really good. They took a lot of shots in the paint, but they were like not layups. They were they were highly contested. They were shooting floaters and runners, and those are I think the kind of shots you want teams to try to take. What have you thought about the?